You may have noticed when you change the key signature of a piece, you don't actually change the notes that are already there. All you're doing is changing the key signature and changing how the notes are notated with accidentals and sharps and flats and so on. But the notes themselves stay the same. If you want to change all the notes in the piece, so you're in a completely different key, then you have to transpose it. I have here a big band piece called Groove Merchant by Jerome Richardson. Let's have a listen to the start of it, just so you can get the sound of it in your head. So you get the idea. Now, I want to take this piece from its current key, which is E flat major. That's the trombone part, you can check that out. I'm going to go from E flat major, but I want to take it up into the key of F. So I want to go up a tone. So what I would do is I would select everything. So Control A will select the entire score. I want to go to my Note Input tab, and there's a Transpose button there. So I click on there. And I can choose to either transpose by key or by interval. I have two choices. So I know the key is E flat, so I want to go up into F. I do want to transpose the key sensor at the start, so I'll click OK. It's as simple as that. Now when I play it. <laughs> And you can tell that's obviously in the new key. There's of course a shortcut for it, so let me show you that. First of all, I'll do Control A to, to select all again, and the shortcut this time is Shift T. Brings up the same box. But this time I'm going to transpose by interval. So instead of going up another tone, I'm going to go down this time. So that currently I'm in the key of F, so I'm going to go down into the key of D, which means I've got to go down a minor third. Let's try that. Puts the saxophones into a horrible key, but the concert pitch instruments are now in D. And again, when I play it, and that's how easy and straightforward it is to transpose your notes into various.